Hey there, today we are going to draw a mink, not another version of me, but the animal mink, you know? Alright then, let's get to it. Alright, so as you probably guessed, we are starting with a circle for the head. Very simple. And we draw the guidelines to determine where it's looking at. <clears throat> then we draw the head shape and so I'm flattening it a little bit. And right about here we have the nose and I draw a very small oval shape here. And then I connect here this lower side, the chin, with the bottom of the circle. And right about here would be the position of the eye. And the other eye would be back here. Okay, let's continue with the ears. One we have here and right here at the border of the circle we have the other one. It's very wide but short ears. Alright, now we are continuing with the spine. First the neck. The length of the neck would be about the width of the circle here, maybe a little bit longer. Like about so. And then we continue with the back and I'm drawing it a little bit bent. Now let's count, we have here 1, 2 and not completely 3, like a little bit less than 3. And then we continue with the tail, about this length. Alright, so I'm going to count from here about two sizes of the circle, like about so. And this would be the ground, just a guideline for me. And then what I figured out what really helps um, drawing the basic skeleton of the feet and uh, uh, of the legs is that I start with the feet actually that are connected to the ground or whatever. One foot would be about here and one here. Here we have the joints. And for the back side we have one all the way back here. And a little bit more at the front, right here. And I'm making this a little bit better. Okay. So, and the only thing that we need to do is now to connect these feet with the shoulder and the hip. And there, we just need to consider the sizes of these bones, which is, are about the size of the. Uh, head circle, maybe just a little bit shorter. And that's pretty much the basic technique that I figured out and it's pretty useful I have to say. So here we have to consider that it tends to the back and here to the front actually. Like so. And there we have a basic skeleton for our mink. Probably not perfect, but close enough. Alright, let's get to the second part of the sketch to give it a little bit more details. So, um, probably a lot of you have wondered why my nickname is Mink. Well, the truth is, it's actually not connected to this animal here, but, um, well, I am a big fan of the Legend of Zelda series, and when I was a kid, while playing Ocarina of Time, I had the creative idea of calling myself Mink, which is just a mix of my actual name, Manuel, and uh, the hero's name. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And back then I had no idea about this animal and that its English name is the same as my nickname that I invented. Um, and only a few years ago I actually learned about this little cutie here. And since then I adopted it as to say and made it uh, my mascot. 
and I really love it, it's very cute. I was just a little bit bummed out um, because, well, a lot of these animals pretty much suffer very much. Um, because, well, these animals are well known for their fur. Uh, they have a very soft and dense fur. And so, um, they are very in high, very much in high demand in the fur industry. And there are lots of um, fur farms, mink farms, uh, which are only there for farming furs. And that's it. Which I myself find pretty useless and stupid. I mean, I'm not making a comment about uh, farming, about animals, uh, animal farming uh, in general, but about fur farming, I mean, this is so useless and uh, the animals are held in often in such terrible conditions. Uh, just for super soft fur and that's pretty much it. it it's just a waste. But yeah, other than that, um, I really love these animals and they are very cute. But don't be fooled. If you also think that it's cute, um, which is very lucky, and you want it as a pet, then you probably should forget this idea because um, they are not like ferrets, like, they are from the uh, same uh, family, the Mustel Day, must, Mustel it, uh, but they are much wilder, much more aggressive, and much more difficult to tame, and it needs a real professional to do that. Um, so if you are not willing to invest a lot of time learning about these animals and constructing the right living conditions for it, investing a lot of money and time, um, then you should forget it and get a ferret or a cat instead. Um, <clears throat> but still, I, lo I love these animals, they're very cute. Um, now to say something about how I'm drawing it now. The next width is about the size of the of the circle here, and as we get to the body, it is getting thicker. And I draw these paws with very less details. Of course, you could also draw the individual toes by um, using the technique of these four um, simple oval shapes. But and normally you cannot really see the individual toes, but it just looks like a like a cute little sock. And that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, I'm not uh, drawing too ma too many details. And back here, the fur on the tail is very long, especially at the end. The legs are very short, but when they run, the whole body is moving and bending, and the spine is very flexible, and so it makes it possible for them to be still very quick. And the fur is also very interesting, they have two layers of fur. The lower la uh, layer is very dense and fluffy and it keeps them warm. While the second layer, the top layer, is very oily and so it prevents um, the fur from getting wet. And they hunt very often at rivers for rats or something like that. And so it's very convenient for them. Yeah, um, back here I'm drawing the legs, these back legs by going all the way up here. Make a small curve and then follow the curvature of the butt, as to say. And I'm going to draw the last leg here. This version is going to be a white mink. And the white mink is actually not in the wilderness, but it was bred. And uh, the ones in the wilderness are normally brown. And I think also there are black ones, I'm not that sure about it. Anyhow. <clears throat> so, this is pretty much it. Basic shape of a mink. I'm going to shorten this front leg here because it's a little bit too long. Sorry for that. Okay. And yeah. I'm going to the fast forward mode now to do the outlining and the coloring and get back to you when I'm done. Alright.
Okay, as you can see I chose a very different style and I'm always telling you, the style that you choose is completely up to you. I'm just here to give you the basic techniques, the basic structure. Alright, that's it. Tell me, is there also an animal that you just recently learned of and immediately fell in love with? Let me know. So, thank you for watching and as always, if you have any questions, feedback or requests for me, then please let me know in the comment section. And if you want to support me and my show, then please check out my Patreon page, where you can also get some nice rewards. Alright then, have fun drawing!